Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Gunn. I'm a solutions architect here at ClickDeck. Today we're going to look at creating a data model. In previous videos, we loaded a single table into ClickView, and now we're going to load multiple tables into ClickView and have them join together. So first we'll need to go into the script editor. So I'll just go to File, Edit Script. And you can see here the table that we previously loaded in. I can then add additional tables in by hitting Select. And that will take me back to this window that allows me to select my tables and fields I want to bring in. So we'll bring in the order header table, and we'll hit Add. And then we'll also bring in the order detail table, and we'll hit Add. And then just click OK. ClickView writes out the script for the order header and order details table. And then when I hit the reload button here, ClickView is going to go out, load the data in, and connect all the fields together based on common field names. So for example, I have a customer ID field in the customers table, and I also have a customer ID in the order headers table. So ClickView will join that. You'll also notice that I have a order ID field in the header and also an order ID field in the order details. And then we'll get a join there. In this particular set of data, we're also going to uh, receive a join that we aren't looking for, which is the ID field in the order details table and an ID field in the customers uh, table. This is actually just a record um, number for each table. Uh, so we've been able to spot that because we only have three tables here. So we could uh, simply comment that out. But I'm also going to show you how to uh, have that identified within ClickView. So we'll hit the debug button after saving. And now we're going to do a limited load. So I'm only going to load the first 10 rows of each table. So this is going to make my load much faster. And any errors that happen or if my data model isn't the way I want it, I'll be able to then go back, adjust it, reload the script, and then confirm that I have the right script prior to loading all the data uh, into ClickView. So we'll hit Run there. And ClickView goes out. It loads everything. Hit Close. And I get this warning saying, one or more loops have been detected. So I, I've created a circular reference in, in my data model. So I'm going to click OK here. ClickView will still work, but it doesn't. it's not going to work the way I intended. I'm now going to go up to the Table Viewer. I can click on the Table Viewer here. You can also hit Control-T to access the Table Viewer. And I can see here that I have a circular reference. So I notice that one of the references is the ID coming between the two tables the customer table and the order details table. And I know I need to remove that now, so I've been able to see that visually. So I'll click OK. We go back into the script editor. And in our case, we don't need that field, so I'm just going to comment that out. So we'll comment it out here and comment it out again. I then could go back and uh, debug again, but I'm pretty confident in this case that I do have the correct uh, script at this time. So I'm going to save and hit reload. Now the uh, the data has come in. We'll click OK on, on the uh, sheet properties, and we'll go back into the table viewer. And you'll notice now that ID field has been removed from the customer's table. So we still have customer ID, but we don't have the one just called ID. And the same thing with the order details uh, table. So now I have a data model that is the appropriate data model for my data set and, and what I'm looking for. From here, I can add list boxes and build out charts and start to build my ClickView application. Thank you for joining me for ClickView Tips and Tricks. If you do have any additional questions, please go to ClickView Community. Uh, you can also contact uh, ClickView Partners and uh, our expert services for in-depth ClickView knowledge.